what's going on guys welcome back to the easy boy rc course um i know i've been absent for a long time on videos and i'm gonna explain a little bit about why now i did do the video where i was working on my car for those y'all wondering it turned out there's something else bad in my transmission that works fine but it wobbled and made my new seal that i just put in go out and it has to come back out again and get some more work done to it or be rebuilt either one or the other so anyway that's a side note but um if you read the title there has been a, a loss in my family my mother passed away last week or this week i mean not last week but this week and that's been a rough one excuse me just one minute all right sorry about that so anyway she's She's now, she's in a better place with my brother and my dad and my grandma and all them. It's just me and my sister left now. And uh, we'll see you again one day. Anyway, uh, and also, I used to not be kind of like, you know, believing in the afterlife, all that kind of stuff. But I guess when your mom passes, it makes you want to. And there's been some things that's happened this week. That has almost convinced me she's there. For one, we all know how hot it is here. Well, my mom lives in Indiana, and I could not get her to come visit here because of the heat. For one thing, you know, we lived in Texas growing up, back and forth, and she hated the heat. So anyway, now that she was older, she just didn't want to come here in this heat. For one, and the the day I found out she had passed away, we went from having all this heat the other day. To it instantly being cooled off during the sun and it has been cool for the last three days since two three days now and all week it's going to be the high of 80 and the low of 60 which is my perfect weather so i believe my mom is here in spirit she came to visit me for a minute and she brought this cool weather with her so she didn't have to sweat thank you mom <laughs> so that's that so anyway now i haven't been making videos on the rc channel and for one of the reasons, ever since I had the bites from the ticks and I got the Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, I've been fighting that. And they've had me, they put me on a medication at first that was working pretty good, but it wasn't enough, they said, whatever, I don't know. And then they put me on something else that I had to take. Well, this medication, it, it, was, it did its job, apparently. But for the last three months that I've been on it, I have not been able to focus on making videos or do any of that. I, haven't had the drive or the ambition. The medication has just made me not want to do it. No, I mean, you know, y'all look over at my corner with RC cars and it's like, eh, who cares? That's how I felt for the last three months. The day before I found out my mom passed away, I went to a doctor and it was all bad news, all crap, you know, but stuff I didn't want to hear. Well, the next day I went to someone else, a different place for my new visit. Nothing but good news. Took me right off that medicine. No longer have to take it. Put me back on what worked. I feel great. I felt great instantly after not taking that medicine. My head is back. I, I'm focused again. I'm out here weed eating. That happened the very day. Two hours later when I got home, I found out my mom had passed. And she had actually passed a couple of days prior. But we just they just found her sorry to get this deep in there sorry but anyway my point is is everything went from horrible one day to the day that she passed everything about my situation got better she helped me i believe or you know fate luck whatever it would have happened maybe you could say what you want i'm gonna say my mom helped me and now I can get back to what I was before when I was doing good with my health. I felt great all that before I had to take that stupid medication. So anyway, those are just a couple things. So now I come out here today to clear my mind and do some work on this course. We got her back up in order here, cleaned up a little bit. Now I'm gonna represent for a Walmart tool real fast before i run an rc car this piece of crap i've looked at i don't know how many times i said i'll never buy something like that for my yard well the other day i was up there and i said well i don't need it for much why not try it 
I've been using it all week. Started out with some small things like this is all I'm going to use this for. And I realized how good it was. And I just kept on going. I'm like, man, this thing is tough. Went all the way around my house. Did all that. I just come out here today. I just weeded this entire course that has not been touched in months. And I went through here and it knocked it out like it was nothing. Everything that I took out. Battery still has juice. Haven't, since I've had it, I've never drained the battery. I use it, put it back on charge, use it again. And I've... I've run it for over 30 minutes straight out here just a minute ago, and it's still running strong. And it's like, this particular one's like 88 bucks at Walmart, but I got it on sale for 66 because I think someone returned it. And they have one for 68 that's a inch smaller. This is a 13, they have a 12 inch, which is just as good. So anyway. If you've ever thought about buying a hyper tough weed eater battery powered 20 volt and you just thought it's just too crappy well if you got just a little stuff to do it, it works great trust me it works great and for any of y'all that's been around for a while y'all remember cc crawler cat she's been absent in a lot of videos because we had to get her fixed so she wouldn't get pregnant when she come outside huh girl she has missed out for a long time. Well, now she's fixed and she's allowed outside and she's back in the spotlight. Look at her. So, there we go. I've been rambling for six minutes and ain't touched an RC car yet. I apologize, guys. I, the reason I come out here is because RC cars used to be my stress reliever. So, all right, also, that's a whole nother video. We're getting back to that. We're gonna go with a part two on that video get that transmission taken care of and before i can get out and make too many videos you can see i got all this plywood for my kitchen floor i gotta completely redo my kitchen next bathroom's done kitchen's the, what we're about to start probably tomorrow so anyway let me make sure his battery's got juice all right ready for my first little run here and my cat decided to take off with my wife on the golf cart she likes to ride with on the cart so she ditched me haven't run this truck in quite a while and I'm running my angel blue headlights today I can't explain to you just how much of a difference being off of that medication has made me feel. I don't even know the name of the shit. I just know it was something I had to take that I didn't want to take and now I don't have to take it no more. And I just hope it stays that way because I don't want to go ever go back to it. Now, my wife went back in, so I hear CC's feet prints coming across the yard. Here she comes. Well, girl, you want to get up there and follow the truck? You can. You know how you like to do. You ain't done that in a long time, huh, girl? Let's see if she follows it around. That'd be awesome. She used to. Oops. I don't have my diffs locked in. I forgot. I'm rusty, man. I've been in a weird place lately. I haven't even been able to focus at work. Not just the RC cars, but at work. My, my head has just not been clear. Until now, I mean, it's amazing how much different I feel. It was going to take forever if I don't start moving it along. I haven't drove this truck and enjoyed it in so long that I'm actually just enjoying this. 
I'm putting the sound simulator back in this truck, I think. It's okay. I like it in the big one, but I think this truck needs it more. How about you guys? Let me know in the comments. Should I sound simulator this truck with the monster truck sound or big V8, I mean? Or should I keep it in the uh, hauler, 6x6? She's still my favorite truck, too. Another reason I figured I'd get this video out. Well, heck, if my mom's angel is here watching me for this week or something, uh, might as well show her what we do in person right well we just missed it CC was following the truck until I moved camera angles and thanks again Eric from Eric's RC for these tires they have been doing very good you see I got to repaint the white letters but they've been really really kicking it I got to screw this down here I just moved it here a few minutes ago and there's a big screw on there I forgot I didn't screw them down yet just see what I'm talking about it's right there big one sticking out so it kind of holds the carpet too high Right, come on, CC, lead the crew. Oops, get out of the sun. Hold on. Told you she likes to play on the course. Most of the time, she does lead the crew, too. I mean, lead the truck. She'll go first. This is actually a fun obstacle right there, especially for this truck. You know what? I love relaxing, playing with a trail truck. I have not enjoyed it lately. I mean, this has relaxed me just a few minutes. In the short run I've done, I feel better today. Who needs a therapist when you got an $1,100 truck to play with? An almost unstoppable eleven hundred dollar truck. I lock them in. <sighs> right now, the teeter totter haven't been on it in a while either. Save it, yep, we're saving it. Are we gonna save it? Nope. Maybe not. You gotta line it up just right on that one. Now look at her. She just drove she went across the top of my truck. She says you're in my way. Oh, I better get up here. She's just not gonna be able to teeter totter. Here we go, watch this. <laughs> Watch this, I gotta get her up here, come on. Come on, I wanna get it up there so it teeter totters with her on it. <laughs> yeah. That a girl. 
That made my day. <laughs> if y'all got a cat, does she crawl on your course? I know Hello RC's got them. Hello RC's got a few crawler kitties. I actually think they call one of theirs crawler cat. I'm gonna be honest with her name, okay? When we, she was crazy kitten. I mean, she's tough, man. So, at first her name was gonna be CB for crazy bitch. Excuse my language. We're gonna call her CB. But we had grandkids. We couldn't do that and then explain to her what the name was. So, we named her CC for crazy cat. And if you ever watch Tom and Jerry cartoons, it comes on, it says, what's the matter with that crazy cat? Well, my grandkids love that part, so. We call her crazy cat, Cece. So, then, uh-oh, we're going down. Somebody in the video mentioned crawler cat, and I'm like, well, that's still Cece, so let's go with crawler cat. So, crawler cat is her name. Instead of... Crazy Cat is definitely more suited to her. I'm going to tell you that right now. I mean, look at her. She's over here just trailing with me. She's like, come on, truck. Miss the old days, don't you, girl? Are we going to move? Come on. She'll ride on the trailer, too. Guys, if you're watching this long, I really appreciate you guys. Please like and subscribe. Help me get this channel back on track. It's really going down since I haven't done nothing lately. Uh, comments, everybody says comments help, so, you know, don't be afraid to comment. Look at her go. I told you, she'll lead the way. She's going to jump up there, I think. Come on, we're going this way, girl, come on. Lead this way, come on. She's like, uh-oh. She's looking at that truck like, what the shit, man? We're on our wheels, huh, girl? You know what? I think this video is about long enough, but yet this is one of my favorite obstacles I haven't been on in a long time. So let's hit it and see if she follows me over. I almost bet she will. Let me get my truck logged in and watch this. She's going to follow it. Come on, girl. Come over here. Don't make a liar out of me now. You're gonna make me look bad. Oh, you wanna cut. You always wanna cut in line. Uh, yeah, cause I messed up anyway. Messed up anyway. Uh-oh, gotta get my angel blue lights back on though. There. Tough right there today, but I don't feel like really messing with it. Come on, girl, you gotta go. Good girl. So, all right, guys, I want to say thanks again for watching. And if you don't mind hitting like and subscribe, especially if, you, if you've been here this long, all whole video, you know, thanks again. I really appreciate the support. So does CC. Ain't that right, girl? You want to say hi? Huh? You want to say hi to everybody? All right, good. So, anyway, I promise I'm going to try to come back and get some more videos, some good ones. Do a lot better than I have been lately. Um, I'm not even out of breath or winded like I have been. I, I couldn't come outside for more than two hours without, you know, if, if I was working, I felt like two hours was my limit before I was going to pass out. And I've been doing stuff all day today, knock on wood. Better not, knock on wood. So, again, and uh, I'm going to say rest in peace to my mom. I love you. And thanks again for watching, guys. Peace.